And now on to the geometric series and sequence, starting out with the geometric sequence. Here's a set of numbers, and so what's so special about them? Well, we call it a geometric sequence if we can take any one of the numbers and divide it by the previous one and always get the same ratio. So for example, if I take 4 divided by 1, I get 4. If I take 16 divided by 4, I get 4. If I take 64 divided by 16, I get 4. So you can see that you grab any number divided by the previous number, you end up with the same number or called the same common ratio. Now, if you want to find the end number in a sequence, you use this equation right here. So let's say that we, will we want to find the fifth number of the sequence, that's equal to the first number of the sequence, times the common ratio raised to the 5 minus 1 power. So this gives us the first one, that is 1. The common ratio is the number 4, and then 5 minus 1 is 4. So this is equal to 1 times 4 to the 4th power, and 4 to the 4th power, that is 256. And let's see if that's correct. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sure enough, we got the right number, and that's how you find the end number in a geometric sequence. Of course, you can see that that becomes very difficult very quickly if you didn't use this particular method. So pretty clever way to find the end number in a geometric sequence. All right, give that a try, and I'm going to go on to the next video where we're going to talk about the geometric series.